I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. In the average U.S. home, a television set is turned on for more than a third of the day — 8 hours, 35 minutes. But then you have to watch that much TV in order to get a good solid half hour of quality programming. After Hurricane Matthew knocked out all phone service in Palm Coast, Florida, Eric Olson was desperate to contact his 87-year-old grandmother to make sure she was okay. He tried contacting the police department and the sheriff's department, but they were too overwhelmed. Then he got an idea. He called Papa John's and placed an order for a pizza to be delivered to his grandmother's home and left instructions for the delivery person to call him upon arrival and let him talk to his grandmother. Well, they were there in 30 minutes or less, and Eric talked to his grandmother, and she was fine. Lance Tyler, the man who delivered the pizza, described Claire Olson's expression as just priceless. For her part, Claire told reporters the pepperoni pizza was fantastic. Paris Hilton just bought an $8,000 chihuahua. The dog has requested that we not mention its name. According to a new study, women would be better off going to bed two hours before men. I can believe this for several reasons, mostly because being asleep before your husband gets to bed means you don't have to hear his snoring or smell the passing of his gas. Emergency crews rushed to an apartment fire in Newcastle, Pennsylvania last Saturday morning. Assistant Fire Chief David Joseph said a man was in the laundry room of an apartment building when he heard a commotion upstairs. When he got to the second floor, it was full of smoke. He ran into his apartment and rescued his three-year-old daughter, then went back inside for his four-year-old son. The two children were unharmed, but when the father was asked what he believed started the fire, he said his son had a bad habit of using a lighter to set things on fire. What? Well, then keep the lighters where the children can't get to them, you idiot! A 700-pound model named Monica Riley is trying to reach 1,000 pounds in order to gain the title of world's fattest woman. She's a model? What, a Model T? You know it's a real thing when the government gets involved. Obama administration officials have rolled out a plan they say will enable automakers to get self-driving cars out onto the road without compromising safety. In true government fashion, there are 112 pages of guidelines, most vague enough to allow innovation while at the same time making sure that automakers, tech companies, and ride-hailing firms put safety first as the cars are developed. States have historically set the rules for licensing drivers, but the Transportation Department says it, rather than the states, would be responsible for regulating cars controlled by software. Per the guidelines, companies must explain how they will comply with a 15-point safety assessment before they roll out the cars. And the guidelines also make clear that the Department of Transportation's National Highway Traffic Safety Administration will force recalls if software doesn't perform as it should. It is a strange world we live in, isn't it? We're getting self-driving cars before we get flying ones, and the self-driving cars only have to pass a 15-point safety test, while human drivers have to pass a written test with five times that many questions. Australia's new $5 bill is so high-tech, vending machines can't handle it. But it can play a record. In a video posted by the National Film and Sound Archive, officials played a record of Brit's Blues using the new plastic note rather than a record player stylus. They noted that it also has special tactile features to make it accessible to the blind community. But it still can't help you if you want to buy a Coke. Well, I got some bad news for you if you are afraid of spiders. A new story published in Current Biology found that many spiders can hear sounds from more than 10 feet away. Previously, scientists believed spiders, which lack eardrums, could only sense vibrations in the air from a few centimeters away. But researchers accidentally discovered this unknown ability thanks to a squeaky lab chair. They were doing neural recordings of a spider's brain to study its sense of sight when they noticed neurons firing in response to the chair. The same neurons would fire in response to clapping from up to 16 feet away. That means spiders can hear people talking and walking. Happy Halloween! Donald Trump suggested Hillary Clinton was on something during their last debate and is now challenging her to take a drug test before their next meeting tomorrow night. Goodness gracious, we got Sammy Sosa, 
Lance Armstrong and now Hillary Clinton. Is there anybody in America that's not being accused of using performance-enhancing drugs? Apparently, many Americans are looking for someone, anyone other than Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, to vote for in the presidential election. Google Trends data shows that online searches for the term write-in jumped by more than 2,800 percent over the past week. That is the highest level it has hit since 2004. And the top five states searching for alternatives are either Democratic strongholds – Vermont, Delaware, New Jersey – or Republican ones – Utah, Indiana – rather than states that tend to fall into purple territory. People are, in particular, interested in Bernie Sanders and Mike Pence as write-in candidates, with the searches Is Bernie Sanders a write-in candidate and write-in Mike Pence both jumping more than 2,000 percent over the past week. Also a popular potential write-in, particularly in Utah, Mitt Romney. Are you voting with a write-in? What name are you going to write? Let me know in the YouTube comments. Find more weird news, download the free mobile app, check out my YouTube channel, and listen to other podcasts I host at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like creepy pastas or stories of the strange and unusual, be sure to also check out my other show at WeirdDarkness.com. This show is made possible by my generous Patreon supporters, and all supporters giving $10 a month or more automatically receive each audiobook I narrate as they're released. Learn more by clicking the Patreon button at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>